What's up guys, Johnny Q here. In today's video, we're going to unbox and see what you get inside of a brand new Staccato 2011. And so as you can see here, this is the Staccato 2011 CS. If you guys don't know, Staccato comes with this kind of a carrying case, not really a box like a Glock or a SIG, uh, but more so like a Smith & Wesson. Uh, it's like a bag, it's like a carrying bag you can take to the range put magazines in there, extra stuff, whatever you need, but let's unbox this or unbag it, I guess, and see what's inside. So here is the front, Got these zippers. All right, so straight off the bat here, we have paperwork from Staccato. Obviously this is test shots that were used to zero in this Staccato CS specifically. And there's the initials, serial numbers there, and yeah, that's cool to have. And some extra paperwork on the plates uh, and how to take those off. Universal optic plate by New Dawson. We have extra paperwork and a lock and some precision tools uh, from Dawson as well. Like an Allen wrench, all that good stuff. We have more information here from Staccato, which is nice to have. Then we have this, the ATF Youth Handgun Safety Act Notice which is good to have, but whenever you see the ATF, I'm always like, eh, whatevs. Obviously, I took this out of the gun because I've already unboxed it, so. And here is an extra magazine. Let me take that out here. It's a 16-round magazine. And so that's kind of why I like the CS, because it's small, it's compact, it's kind of on there with, you know, the size of a Glock 43X. It's a little bit bigger, uh, as well as the X macro by SIG. Okay, let's go to the main compartment here. We open this up, and here is just another extra pocket, you know, with some more paperwork. This staccato's built for heroes. On the back here, quality check completed, which is nice to have. And I think there's another patch. This is, let's see here, pure stick. Oh. Hold on. This one is, I like this patch actually. Pure staccato, just smaller. I love that. <laughs> All right, let's put this away and let me kind of get you into focus. So this is the main pocket, built for heroes, made in America. Also, Texas, I love this, this is pretty awesome. So we unzip this here and here comes the staccato CS. Look at that thing. Of course, let's uh, take out the magazine. It's empty, 16 rounds. Let's just make sure. Officially, that is empty. And let's look over it really quickly. There's the Staccato CS. I mean, that looks pretty awesome. And you can also take this off here and put an optic of your choice. Take off that plate uh, and you're good to go. I, I think that you need to actually buy the plate from Staccato, and that could be probably like 120 something dollars, but um, it comes with a flat trigger, and man, you can put a light here as well. That thing looks really, really cool. I definitely like how it feels in my hands. It's small enough, but also, it's not like a micro compact pistol. The grip is just like any other grip of a Staccato. It's got that same amazing Staccato feel, but doesn't feel small, and of course, it's hammer. It's a hammer action pistol, but man, I cannot tell you how good this feels in my hands. I love the serrations up front here and in the rear. The safety is super tactile. It gives that punch and definitely holds strong. See that reset. So super short reset. There's barely a wall, if you can see that. There it's much, there's the wall here. So here's the take up and there's the wall. Take up, wall. And it's just really, it's not mushy. It's a nice tactile click when you get to that wall because you can feel it. And man, yeah, that feels really great. So, and it comes again with the 16 round magazine. So 16 plus one. You have 17 total rounds in a super compact 
pistol and from staccato. So I brought out the Sig Sauer and also the Glock 43X. So this is what I would compare the CS to because let's make sure they're empty. They are empty, just so you guys know. And I only say this because look at this, this has a 17 round mag, 17 round mag for the, sorry, for the X macro plus one in the chamber. So a total of 18 rounds for this and it has an optic. So it's a good feeling pistol as well, but it's, I would say compared to the Staccato CS in terms of size, the Staccato CS and X macro are pretty close to being similar similar in size. Same with the Glock 43X, we'll just make sure it's also empty. So if we compare the Staccato CS to the Glock 43, so in terms of size, we have the Glock 43X, uh, X Macro, and then the Staccato CS. So if you're looking for another everyday carry for the rotation, the CS might be a good option, but just know it's not as short in barrel length as the Glock 43X or the X Macro. But really it just kind of depends on what you like to carry and what you're more comfortable with. And kind of here's the side view. And just remember, if you put an optic on the Staccato CS, it's going to look probably a little bit larger than something like the X Macro. 10 rounds on the Glock, 17 rounds on the X Macro, and then 16 rounds with the Staccato CS. So it really all depends on what you want to carry, how comfortable you are with carrying something like a Staccato CS or the X Macro. Now I am excited to actually carry the Staccato CS and kind of everyday carry to see how comfortable it is. Is it ergonomical with my body type, with my holster, how it uh, shows or doesn't show as far as printing and overall handling of the CS and just how smooth it can be and how it can carry with my everyday activities. I think for now, I'll probably run the CS without an optic just because I wanna carry it as I would the Glock 43X. Uh, and at some point I'll probably put an optic on there. So, but what do you guys think? Do you guys think the Staccato CS is worth that $3,000 mark to everyday carry? Why or why not? Comment down below. Very soon I'll come out with a first mag on the Staccato CS and bring that to you guys. So keep an eye out for that. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace.